It's said that gunpowder can replace gasoline to start an engine, and the team already confirmed that gunpowder's energy density is far higher than gasoline's. To test whether this claim could actually work, Quarry reground the black powder into a fine dust, hoping the particles would be small enough to be drawn into the cylinder and stay suspended in the air like fuel vapor. Grant, meanwhile, built a small sandblaster-style feeder. Once loaded with gunpowder dust, compressed air would blow the powder directly into the engine's cylinder. After everything was prepped, Grant used a power drill to to crank the engine inside the blast chamber. If the experiment worked, the engine would keep running and spew thick black exhaust. But this time, the powder didn't ignite. After tearing the engine apart, they discovered why. The engine oil inside had clumped the gunpowder together, making it impossible to ignite. So they drained every drop of oil from the engine. To boost ignition even further, Tori swapped out the spark plug for a glowing hot resistance wire, essentially a constant ignition source once hooked up to a battery. With everything reassembled, they cranked the engine again. Would the gunpowder finally ignite? and keep the engine running? No matter how they spun it, the powder still refused to light. In the end, they poured the gunpowder directly into the cylinder. This time it did ignite and push the piston, but only once. It couldn't sustain combustion or keep the engine running, so the verdict is clear gunpowder can't replace gasoline as an engine fuel.